Tom. This is uh, this is a really popular car. A reference C49 Falder LM uh, Le Mans 1970. These are really nice cars, believe it or not. Beautiful cars. Okay. You want to add a car to your collection, this is it right here. The C49. All right. Beautiful car. So I will unscrew it first, and then you can look at it. Did you get all those uh, cars listed? All right. You got all the cars, all the orders shipped? You know, you got that right there, the uh, two... Uh, yeah, yeah, you got to wrap those. Well, you're failing me there, buddy. You're failing me. Yippee! Okay, that was a three mo, uh, three four. Um, excuse. Well, that just popped out of there. That's the motor. They did a lot of uh, ex interior detail to give uh, um, detail. Check out this, man. They really put this car together. Isn't that cool? A lot of components to it. Boy, you can't run this without uh, it being on the uh, um, chassis. Let's see if this thing will run. <laughs> well, it's a little scratchy because this part, okay, it, it not, it's kind of the chassis is kind of in two. You know, it's just like it's kind of like a horse with a broken back. Ah! <laughs> okay, so that was a joke. All right, so. This is, um, look at that, a guy put his name on it from the factory, probably. Pay, pe, Perry or something, S, hmm, isn't that funny? A, a, a Bucci motor, uh, side motor mount, all right? And then we have to figure out how this, there we go, like that. All right, we gotta put that on here like, like that, there we go. Should have looked at this before I. Oh, there we go. It goes like that, but I gotta get this on just right. Oh, I know what I gotta do. What did you want? Did you want something, Mark? There we go. You just lay it in there and it all fits together. See how the motor is just. Motor lays in there. It's all held by the screws. This is a popular car. I sell a lot of these. You want to get one of these for your collection. Matter of fact, you just want to, since you're going to be, since everybody's freaking out about this pandemic, which is an absolute joke, it's all about the numbers, people. I can give you the numbers, but nobody wants to hear the truth, so. Well, that's quiet. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is really nice. Holy cow. No wonder people like this car. No wonder why that does that. That's amazing how car, some cars just. Now, see, I'd want to race this. Okay, that, that would be a fun car to race. All right, so this is the C49. C49 uh, Falder ALH uh, number three Le Mans 1970. Okay, who are the drivers? I think I just told you. Rudy Luntz and Helmets Marco. Marco. All right, this is another great one. Uh, pick one of these up at protinkertoys.com. Protinkertoys.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe us, okay? Because the more you like and subscribe, that means more people like and subscribe me. And that means poor, more people like me. Why? I have no idea. But I try to know a lot. Now, you know, I'm going to tell you a little question here. You know, I did a video about Scale Electric on the history of Scale, about how that I um, I went to this guy's house back in 1999, 2000, uh, in, in Chicago. And he gave me a tour of downstairs with his slot cars. And he's been a slot car uh, collector for years. 
And he showed me this scale electric set that um, was from the 1950s, early, late, late 40s, early 50s. And it was made from, I thought it was B-29 bomber tires. Well, it probably it was. A guy called me said, or texted me on, on, on YouTube and said, well, they didn't really fly B-29s in, uh, in, in England. Okay, they might not have been tires from B-29. They might have been Lancasters. Maybe the B-17. They built, flew those in, in England. Anyways, they had a ton of them. And you could tell when he turned the track over, it wasn't a rail like this. It was basically just a piece of solid rod embedded into this tire. And you could tell when you turned it over, it was a rubber tire on the other side. They had to use these tires for something. And they just started cutting them up and make racetrack out of them. Um, anyway, I, I thought that was a funny note. And another thing, too, about Carrera. A guy was telling me about the switch on the bottom. It's not necessarily for, for digital. It's for switching direction of the car. But... You have to put a chip in your car to run it digital, okay? That switches in SCX cars are switches where you can switch from analog to digital, if you didn't know that. I know it's a lot of information. I give you a lot of too much information sometimes. Um, well, maybe sometimes I don't. Pe people like my information, I guess. I don't know. Um, all right, so that's ProTickerToys.com, ProTickerToys.com.